everyone, today we're gonna to go over the software engineering degree at WGU, the C Sharp track. So the C Sharp track is, I've had a few requests for this video. It is basically the alternate route of the, the standard Java track that WGU has. So they have two different versions of the software engineering degree. I mean, don't get me wrong, your diploma is going to say WGU, Bachelor of Science in Software Engineering. It's not going to say anything about Java or C Sharp on there, no matter what you pick. But if you want to learn a different skill and have a few different classes on your transcript, then there is a few, a couple different paths. So I still do kind of recommend the Java, uh, the Java path. And that's because a lot of companies do use Java. It's more used in the enterprise world. It's more used in the private sector world and it will help you get a job better. Uh, C Sharp though is, there's still jobs that will definitely, you know, have C Sharp, uh, especially more in the public sector, uh, military, um, security. You know, there are some places that do use C Sharp. And also if you're doing this degree from more of a hobby perspective, and you already know Java or something like that, right? Like you just don't care to learn Java and you just really wanna learn C-sharp, then you can definitely take the C-sharp path. And I would say C-sharp is a very fun language and it's a very simple language. And I like C-sharp, you know, probably some of my favorite coding languages are C-sharp, Python, and Swift, you know? So I kind of fell in love with Swift over the years because I really like mobile development and I, I'm not a big Java fan. Like Java's all right. It's just, it's kind of complex and convoluted. It's still, it's not extremely difficult, but it's just, it, I'm not a huge fan of it. I like very precise, um, you know, very simple, very, you know, easy to use type of languages that are just clean. I, I, that's the word I'm looking for is clean. You know, and C Sharp is a very clean, programming language. So, you know, we're going to get into the spreadsheet and see what's different from the normal track. And there's honestly not that much different, to be honest with you. So we'll get into the spreadsheet right now and you can see what the differences are. As we are inside the spreadsheet for the software engineering C track, so C sharp track. So here we go. You have the general education, which has not changed at all from the normal track. You can do these courses at study.com and transfer them in and get these done very quick. These are two to three day courses that you can do fast at these ACE credit platforms. So if you, if you have not seen my original software engineering video or any of my WGU videos, you know, basically I show how to hack a degree and get it done fast. So there are something called ACE credits and these ACE credits allow you to transfer in courses that you do in two to three days at these platforms such as study.com straight line and there's there's many other ace credit providers as well so i would recommend doing all of these courses there so at wgu you only have to do one or two terms and you save a ton of money and a ton of time right wouldn't you want a bachelor degree in six months or 12 months and you save a lot of money, you save a lot of time. That's one of the points of going to WGU is you, they allow you to accelerate. And one of, the re, one of the ways to accelerate is transferring all these ACE credits. Honestly, I think it is the biggest college cheat code that there is. 99% of the population does not know about this huge cheat code. So you can get a bachelor degree in under a year with this cheat code. And it applies to many schools, not just WGU. So, you know, if you're watching this and you've never heard of ACE credits, you know, you can get a bachelor degree fast, you know, and you can get into that workforce, start making that six figures and, you know, try to learn all the skills that you can possibly learn to be ready for those types of jobs. So here we are, uh, computer science courses you can do at study.com as well. Um, I would say database fundamentals and fundamentals of information technology are also two, three day courses. I think once you start getting right here though, you know, these courses are going to take you a little longer, you know, maybe five, six days, intro to networking, intro to programming, and then database programming, database management, and data structures and algorithms. Those might be one week each or even more because they are kind of, you know, a little complicated. These two have an assignment. They're not hard. It's just time consuming. 
and then data structures of, uh, and algorithms is a somewhat difficult class. I mean, it's easier than a college level class, but it is somewhat difficult and you're going to have to study a lot and you're going to need this class to pass interviews. You need to know data structures and algorithms. So, and I will go over that in the future on this channel as well. Uh, but data structures and algorithms is something you need to know. This class will teach you the basics and you'll totally understand what data structures and algorithms is and you'll learn how to solve some basic problems. So programming in Python, Py Python is like the most popular and simple programming language that we have going on right now. It's gotten really popular over, over the past decade. A little filler class here with IT Leadership Foundations. And here's a few courses you could do at Straighter Line, English, uh, Business Stats will transfer in as Applied Probability and Statistics. Um, I recommend Straighter Line or Sophia for this course because it's a little difficult at WGU and Study.com, especially WGU. Algebra, I recommend at Straighter Line. And then Intro to Web Development. You can only take this course at Sophia or WGU. So Study and Straighter Line do not have this one. And then Project Management is a course you can do at Study.com, but you can do it on Sophia as well. And I recommend Sophia because it's, I would say, at least 30% easier there. So there are your courses that you can transfer in, and I would definitely do that. You know, ACE credit courses are not that hard. They're definitely easier than college level courses for the most part, and you can do them at a very fast pace. So imagining, imagine getting all of these college credits done, you know, in the matter of three or four months or even sooner. And that's amazing. You know, like you got all these college credits right here done in that time frame. So I would definitely recommend doing all of those because they're easy, they're fast, and they're affordable. Now we get into the certifications slash certificates. Um, I should probably rename this certifications, but I'll just leave it the way it is for now. So AWS Cloud Practitioner, you can do uh, the AWS Cloud Foundations. Personally, I would just do this course at WGU, but if you really are trying to get this done in one term and you want to maximize your credits, then go ahead and take the certification. The thing is the certifications cost money. So as I said in my other software engineering video and my other video, uh, my other tech ones, such as information technology, the certifications in the tech degrees you know, one, you have to spend money on them, and two, they take a while. You know, you got to study, etc. So, if you have financial aid covering most of these WJU degrees, like it's covering most of your semester, then I would skip the certifications and just do them at WGU. Okay. Now, if you're not getting financial aid, okay, and you have to pay for all of this out of pocket or most of it out of pocket, then I would try to do the certifications because you don't want to risk doing like three WGU terms or even two WGU terms. Like you want to try to get it done in one term if you're paying out of pocket, right? Like you don't want to pay $8,000 and you definitely don't want to pay $12,000 for three terms. So uh, I, if you're paying out of pocket, I would do these certifications. Um, so you have these two, which is, I would skip these as well because this is a really hard exam. So it's going to require a lot of studying. It's a very hard test. And this will knock out software one and software two. And basically you have a mobile application development with C sharp and you can actually knock this out with a swift certification. This is Apple's like official swift certification and you can do it at Certiport. Currently it is the only certification that will satisfy this class. No, nothing else will satisfy this class. There was an Android one before that would satisfy it, but for some reason, WGU got rid of that one, and it's only this Swift certification that will satisfy this course. Does Swift have anything to do with C Sharp mobile application development? No, but WGU is just letting you satisfy the course because it's also a mobile development uh, course. So they're saying basically it doesn't have to be C sharp. Now you get the Java, uh, so the CIW certs, you get JavaScript specialist, advanced CIW, HTML5, and CSS3, and then you get user interface designer. And the cool thing about user interface designer is it satisfies two courses. 
I've said before, I'm not a huge fan of uh, the CIW certs, but if you want to get these courses done, if you want to get them transferred in, then, you know, go ahead and do it. Um, the CIW, I just feel like it's not the greatest quality, but at the same time, you know, at, we're trying to get this degree done fast. So if you want to get all of these transferred in, if you want to hack this degree at the absolute maximum, you know, and only do 30 credits at WGU, like, hey, I'm only going to do 30 credits at WGU no matter what, you know, I don't care about anything else, then yes, you want to do all these certifications, including the CIW ones. So you would be able to transfer in JavaScript programming, front end web development, and then user experience and interface design. So now, what are the differences? What are the differences between this and the normal software engineering track? And there's not much actually. So you have this course right here, software one C sharp, software two advanced C sharp, mobile application development C sharp, and you have two less courses. So the reason you have two less courses is because these are six credits each and they're pretty hard courses, to be honest with you. These are definitely harder than the Java courses in the other program. So I will also say that there's, um, there's two less courses in this, which are backend programming. And there's one other course that was taken out of this one compared to the normal track, but you will not have backend programming in this, um, in this track. So that one is gone but you will learn C sharp. There's three good classes regarding C sharp. You have them right there, but really that's it. There's only three class difference in this, uh, in this track. You would think there's a huge difference, right? Like you're going to learn so much C sharp, but honestly, there's only, you don't have the three Java courses. And instead of the three Java courses, basically you get software one, you get software two that are C sharp and it replaces those three Java courses. And then you also don't have backend, uh, backend programming. So, so there's four classes, not in this one. And then there's two classes that replace those and how two classes can, uh, how two classes can replace four classes is because there's six credits. So that's the whole difference of this degree, two classes in four classes out, and the mobile application development becomes a C sharp project instead of an Android project. And that's it. That's, those are the differences. Um, everything else is virtually the same. Like I said, you must do 30 credits at WGU. So it says 27 credits needed because these are all 27 credits, but you must save one of these classes up here for WGU because you must complete 30 credits there. And we're going to go over the courses you have to take at WGU, software security and testing, easy course, ethics, easy technical communication, easy hardware and operating systems, hard course. This is hard. Okay. So that one's going to take you, it could take you a couple weeks, honestly. It's an OA. It's a very hard OA. It's very broad. Uh, just study the PA, take the PA right away, you know, study the question, all the answers, every category that you can think of regarding the question and answers. So the question and all four answers, study the category for all five of those. And you should be able to pass the test with enough study. I'd go over both the WGU material and outside material regarding that course. Software engineering, you can actually do this on study.com, but I have it at WGU because it's an easy class. It's four credits and you can get it done fast in two to three days on WGU. I actually think it's slightly more easy on WGU than it is study.com. So I would definitely do this at WGU. Version control, little one credit course, software de design and quality assurance, introduction to system thinking, and the capstone. So if you got this down to 30 credits, like there's no doubt in my mind, like this is all completable in like, definitely one term. And I don't even think it would take one term. Like it, th this can be done in four months, you know, so even faster, honestly, like if you're going to grind all day on it and you, you know, you don't have much work, no kids, like 
like you're grinding almost all of your day on these classes, you could probably get it done in two months, you know? So it's uh, you can definitely hyper accelerate this with the ACE credits. Um, you can hyper accelerate this entire degree program and you'll learn a little C sharp instead of Java. So it's a very good degree. Uh, like if you really want to learn C sharp, you don't care about the Java track, you know, maybe you already know Java, like the, the employer is not going to know whether you took the Java or C sharp track. I mean, you will have different projects on your resume, C sharp compared to Java, but if you already have Java projects or you already learn, you already know Java and you're just really interested in C sharp, then this is a great track for you. You know, maybe the Java track you don't think will keep you engaged. Maybe you're just not interested. And if you love C Sharp, I like C Sharp quite a bit, then this track would be better for you. It'll keep you more intrigued, more engaged, more interested. So C Sharp, uh, very good degree at WGU. Um, all the tech degrees are very good at WGU, especially computer science and software engineering, as those are degrees that can apply almost anywhere for like almost any tech job, especially if you add on the skills afterwards and certs, maybe you want to get into cloud or something, you just add on the certs after. And like I said, these are two gold standard degrees, software engineering and computer science. You know, those are just the gold standard, especially computer science, but software engineering, you know, the more we grow, the more, uh, the more the tech industry grows, especially software, software engineering jobs, you know, you'll see computer science or software engineering listed on a job requirement. A lot of times it still says computer science or computer science and similar. But a lot of job postings these days say computer science, software engineering degree or similar. So, you know, those are these are like the two gold standard degrees. You know, if you want the absolute gold standard, that is still computer science. But software engineering is a very, very recognized degree compared to like five or six years ago. So software engineering is very recognized and it's a very good degree. So I wish you guys the best of luck if you are trying to hack this. I have a couple other software engineering videos you can watch. Uh, one is the normal Java track. It shows you how to hack that degree and what's inside of it. And the other one is a software engineering deep dive, which goes over the Java track. So... I wish you guys the absolute best of luck. Uh, WGU is a great school. I've attended there myself. I eventually graduated from Thomas Edison State University with a bachelor degree in computer science because for me, it would have been a slightly faster. And I just wanted to, what I cared about was speed and not so much cost. So, but WGU is an absolute phenomenal school. I recommend them to everybody. Uh, and they, they will help you get a degree fast. Plenty of WGU graduates that get an internship or some kind of junior software engineer job. It's just the market is a little more saturated than it used to be a few years ago. So you're gonna have to network, you know, you're gonna have to strategize, you're gonna have to put projects on your resume even after WGU. So just gonna require a little bit of strategy. But this degree is the first stepping stone to getting your six figure career in software engineering. So I wish you guys the best of luck. Please take care. Please be on the lookout for future videos. And if this video helped you in any way, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day.